I've just completed the final level of Tap Tap Legions. As you can see, flick through it, they're all done. I, I didn't bother to, to um, complete them all in three stars, some of them just have two stars. And in this video, I'm just going to be going through the strategies I used to get to the end and beat the final level. Um, I'm going to be uploading a second video where I actually do the final level. So if you actually want to see it, if you look at the uh, next video I've uploaded. But for now, if we go into my castle, you can see how I got this far. Now, looking at my army, you have a large selection of troops that become unlocked as you progress through the game. And one of the early strategies I used is to put a lot of damage into archers. Now, the good thing about archers is they stand near the back of your formation, so as long as your melee characters have a little bit of health and armor, you can start piling on more and more archers as the game progresses, and their extra damage really adds up. As the game goes on, you get the Warlocks. They are incredible. Um, the only reason I didn't get the last point in my healing is because it's really expensive. I didn't have money at the time. Don't worry too much about their defense or health, but I gave them a little bit because I found they, they died too quickly um, when I accidentally threw a bomb at myself. But if you put points into this healing, that'll pay off nicely. And then going down, the troops that really helped me complete the game near the end is these armored soldiers. For quite a while I did no upgrades except these guys. With a high defense and high HP, what I was trying to do was build a front wall of troops that the enemy never got by. This allowed me to not worry too much about the HP of the warlocks and the archers. And then later on in the game, the wizards. Um, you do have these royal guards that came along. And unfortunately, I didn't know they were coming, and I, I put all my um, defense and HP into the armored swordsmen. If I'd known the royal guards were coming, I might have waited and put um, HP and defense in theirs. Still pretty expensive. And wizards, and by the time the royal knights come along, you're, you're pretty much late into the game. So the strategy for troops, just to recap, is a lot of damage in archers. A lot of the healing points in Warlocks, and then you want some sort of um, tough troops in your melee range. So you can do Armored Swordsmen, Royal Guards, or if you're that own clan, I guess you could build something from these pikemen. I think, hold on, there's another troop that's got really high defense. It's 35. Nope. No, it doesn't. It's Armored Swordsmen. Eagle Warriors. I'll see you one. Now, moving on to the Chariot. It's completely pointless putting HP into this at all. It, if the enemy are hitting your chariot, it's basically game over and you're best off starting again. What does help is this supply time. That is the time before a card appears and it becomes fully functional you can click it. I kind of avoided going down to 0.5 seconds because I think that is too quick, at least for my reaction times anyway. You want to have the card on the screen for a certain amount of time so you, your brain can actually process what it is. I think if I went from 0 0.7 to 1 1.5, I'd be accidentally clicking a lot of the cards. I didn't want to. A lot of the bad cards. Moving up to item. I really didn't use these whatsoever. I, I gave Spartan Souls a, a try, but I, I found it pointless. Um, it, it's, it seems like a waste of money because these cards are one-time use when you buy them. So I, I always prefer to save the money, put it into one of my troops, or, um, or moving along to the cards. Now these were what I found made all the difference. It's tempting to put all your points into, to put all your gold into the army, but I guarantee you if you start upping these uh, cards, you'll see a massive increase. Um, starting by, the very first one I did was gold, and that's what I recommend everyone does it. Because if you play the game long enough, the amount of money you put into gold pays, pays back itself eventually, essentially. Um, at least all but the last level, because that just takes it from 50 gold to 55 gold. However, I, I think I figured out um, I can't remember how much it cost off the top of my head, but I think you need to click on 500 gold bars to make back the upgrade, the last upgrade. And if you play this game long enough, you'll, you'll easily click that many. Now, moving on to the bomb. These bombs, I believe, are available in every single level. Whereas with your troops, you have to pick certain ones that you can and can't use. Bombs are always available, so leveling those up is well worth it. The only downside is, with the bad bomb, doing so much damage, your weak troops such as the archers and the warlocks will die if you even get one wrong bomb. So as the game progresses, you actually, I found myself clicking less uh, less quickly 
just to make sure I didn't accidentally bomb my own troops. Um, I did have quite a few situations where I was winning, accidentally the wrong bomb and blew up half my force and lost. These tricks are very useful. It, it gives your, your troops a breather. And this backup, I think, is the very best card in the game. As soon as you get it, level it up. And as you can see, if you click on that, you will copy seven of your soldiers. Um, it, if you have this to seven, any level that allows you to use this card becomes easy mode, which is the last one. Um, obviously, you don't want to click the, down, the, the bad version of the card, but it, if you do it, it, it's rarely the end of the world. It, it seems your troops are stronger than the enemy's troops a lot of the time. And this Frozen speaks for itself. The, the, clicking that essentially gives you six seconds free hits on the enemy while they can't do anything. So, summary there is upgrade your cards first of all, your troops second, and don't bother with the skills. And if you do find yourself stuck in an area, what I did, I, I just went back a level, did a few of the um, levels. I, I tried to get three stars, but getting three stars doesn't actually give you anything extra. And if you play the game for long enough, you'll you'll eventually beat level 16. So what I'm going to do now is end this recording, do a second recording where I actually do level 16, so anyone wants to watch, just watch the, um, the video uploaded directly after this. Thanks a lot.